Welcome in to Duval Daily, presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thank you so much for tuning in here on Thursday, April 27th. It is draft day, and we have had some massive news out of TIAA Bank Field over the last 12 hours. Jaguar starting left tackle Cam Robinson has been suspended to start the 2023 season, and the Jaguars have also signed defensive tackle Devon Hamilton to a three-year extension. We'll kick this show off with the Cam Robinson discussion. Last week at the Jaguars pre-draft presser, Trent Baalke mentioned that that Cam Robinson would be physically ready. It was a little intriguing. Okay, if he's going to be physically ready for the start of training camp after suffering a meniscus injury in December, uh, why why are we kind of uh, mentioning that it's going to be physical, but there's something else coming down the brink. Well, this is it. Now we know what that meant. While he will be physically ready, he will miss time to start the season after being suspended by the league for performance-enhancing drugs. Friend of the show, John Shipley, actually broke this news last night. Robinson will be suspended for an undisclosed amount of games to start the 2023 season. Not yet clear how long he will be out. But you're now down a starter at a premium position where you're going to want to add to that room, whether it be via free agency or the draft. Of course, the draft kicks off this evening. Right now, Walker Little would likely start the season out at left tackle where he has thrived uh, in limited action over the last couple years. And that is, of course, where he played his college ball at Stanford at left tackle. So I think you feel okay about where you're at at left tackle without Cam Robinson. But right now it looks like Josh Wells would slide in as your starting right tackle with Cam Robinson out to start the season. Could Josh Wells hold down the fort as your starting right tackle early on in this campaign? Sure, I think it's possible. But I already believe that the Jaguars would draft offensive linemen at multiple spots in this 2023 NFL draft. Now I think there's no question about it. The question will be when and where will the Jaguars Select these offensive linemen. The NFL draft again kicks off tonight. and With nine total picks and the 24th overall pick in the first round, the Jaguars will have options if they want to spend premium draft capital on an offensive lineman. They can do that at 24 overall. They can even trade up if they feel the need to do that. Anton Harrison is someone we've talked about a lot out of Oklahoma on this channel. Really love his game, love his length, athleticism, the way he frames up blocks, and, and the violent demeanor in which He pass protects. I think he'd be a a great option for the Jaguars. Um, Although he has primarily played left tackle, he did start one game at right tackle for Oklahoma. So potentially uh, the versatility to play on either side for Anton Harrison. Darnell Wright would be an option if he fell. Looks incredibly unlikely. Darnell Wright would fall to 24 out of Tennessee at this point. He's played His best ball at right tackle, but did play left tackle in 2021 as well. Dewan Jones out of Ohio State, he could be an option. A massive mountain of a human being with long arms, just a massive frame that's really difficult to get around, but good overall athleticism for his size as a former basketball player. Uh, He could be in play at right tackle for the Jaguars. And then you've also got Florida guard Osiris Torrance, who many believe with his skill set, could play right tackle for you. So maybe you have Osiris Torrance playing right tackle to start the year, waiting for Cam Robinson to get back. And then when Robinson's back, you have Robinson at left tackle, Walker Little back over to right tackle, and then Osiris Torrance at left guard. We'll see how it all plays out. Either way, massive shakeup for the Jaguars. Cam Robinson out to start the season again. John Shipley, good friend of the show, broke the news last night out for the start of the regular season, being suspended for performance-enhancing drugs by the NFL for an undisclosed amount of games. Now, that's the not-so-good news. The good news here is defensive tackle Devon Hamilton, going into the final year of his rookie deal, he gets a three-year extension with the team worth $34.5 million, max value of $36 million, according to Ian Rappaport. Devon Hamilton is now the 15th highest paid defensive tackle in the NFL based on the total value of the contract and the average annual value. This is good business for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hamilton, a 2020 third round pick who came on strong in 2022, made big plays against the run and as a pass rusher for the Jaguars down the stretch. I'll always love this guy. I'll always have a fond uh, spot in my heart for him. I had an early two on him in 2020, saw a ton of value in his skill set and work ethic and character coming out of Ohio State. 
There wasn't a ton of buzz on him. The Jaguars landed him in the third round. I was fired up about it. And he's proven to be a worthwhile investment for the Jacksonville Jaguars at defensive tackle. Hamilton not only shows the ability to hold up at the point of attack, both against double teams and single blocks, but when given the opportunity in 2022, he flashed as a player who could also attack up the field and create disruption in the backfield, making him an extremely valuable player for the Jacksonville Jaguars defense. And the Jags can now feel comfortable with their two to three year outlook along the defensive interior with Foley Fatu Kasi under contract through 24, Roy Robertson Harris and Devon Hamilton under contract through 2026. Of course, there are team outs in all of these contracts, so the Jaguars aren't locked in too long with this group if they decide they want to pivot down the road, but they at least have a quality group of interior defensive linemen, veteran interior defensive linemen to rely on in 2023 and beyond. I would say this probably stops the Jaguars from considering a defensive tackle early on in this draft with three guys on their roster. Again, Roy Robertson, Harris, Devon Hamilton, and Foley Fatu Kasi all making starter money for them. Uh, But they could still draft someone for the long-term plan as well along the interior of their defensive line. Uh, The Jags, their options are plentiful when it comes to down to what they could do with the 24th overall pick. Again, draft kicks off tonight, Thursday night, in Kansas City. Jaguars hold the 24th overall pick. They have the draft capital to move up. They could move down. They could stick and pick. They could potentially trade for a veteran with some of their picks. There's lots of intrigue and opportunity for the Jaguars entering this 2023 NFL draft. Again, Devon Hamilton gets a three-year contract extension from the Jaguars, further fortifying that foundation of the defense up front. And Cam Robinson, suspended by the league for an undisclosed amount of games for violating their performance and enhancing drug policy. I'm sure we'll find out more about this suspension, how long it's going to last um, in the coming hours and days. But as of right now, all we know is that the Jaguars, they are down there starting left tackle. Cam Robinson to start the 2023 NFL season. Thank you so much for tuning in, Duval. Let me know what you think about this news. Hit me up on Twitter at Jordan DeLugo. You can follow Generation Jag. We're at Generation Jag. Drop a comment in the comment section below on YouTube. You can also like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you're on your podcast platform of choice, please subscribe and review. Really appreciate y'all for tuning in, Duval.